Hello guys and welcome to this random Last Scouts gameplay which I'm going to do. So let me talk a bit about my experiences with this game. So I started playing Last Scouts back in 2008 and I stopped it around 2010. So I'm, I basically played until the end of EP1 and then I quit it. So I was around 11 years of age at the time so I was really fucking small and I couldn't really like I didn't know how to how this game works and how to do stuff so I basically was just a complete retard so the thing is I just came back one week ago and I just started playing this game again it meant to be like a nostalgia type of thing but I just I don't know I just kept playing it so as you can see I mean, in case you don't know, I'm in TOF, which is called a Temple of Forgetfulness, where I am basically trying to level slash form at the same time. So, as you can see, I'm playing on the original server, which is Gamigo server. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually bought it from Eray Games, or it's just a, like, a different brand name. But uh, the thing is, they... they they are hosting Last Chaos now. I mean, they've been hosting it for like, what, five years or four years? Which I was actually surprised because, like, first time I just went on Hero Games website and I couldn't see Last Chaos. And I was like, okay, this game probably sh been shut down or something like that. But no, like, this game is still being played. I mean, <sighs> mainly Germans play this game. So, the thing is, when you first... Uh, come online on the uh, UK, uh, yes, UK server, you will probably see an empty map one with like no one on it and it's because like this is how the European servers, this is what the European servers has become, like people don't really play this game anymore. But in, in on the, on the uh, German server there are a lot of players there, like map one is crowded still just like in, in the past and yeah it's really played there. But here on the server which I'm playing on, which is uh, Elysian. I hope I, I pronounce it right. The server is pretty empty. You can mainly find like higher level players who who spend their, their time playing like two years ago. So they are on max level and they just do some raids, they have some fun and that's it. But like there is not a lot of players who actually came back like me and they started over with a fresh start. So I would like to talk a bit about my experience so far. So as I said, I mean, I hope I said I I came back one week ago. So as you can see, I'm on level 74. I'm an X-Rook. I mean, X-Ranger at the moment, but I'm an X-Rook, so this is my class. And uh, so, so basically, making profit on the server, and I'm talking about like gold, is really fucking hard. Excuse my language. I'm gonna use this word a lot. So it's really hard to 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 basically make money from scratch without obviously spending a lot of money on this game because people call this game like a money waster type of game, which is actually true because on the item a lot of stuff costs a lot. I mean, for me, I'm Hungarian. For me, it, it costs a lot because you spend like. 4 euros, I mean, uh, not 4 euros, like 2 or 3 euros for a XP booster which uh, lasts for 1 hour, it's a fucking joke. But I'm not here to like spit in, I mean, I to spit on uh, Gamigo's face, I'm just, I just express my feelings about what I think of this game. So, yeah, so, so basically it's really hard to farm. I was I, I I actually fucked up my character a bit because I I farmed 8k of SP, which is not a lot because a lot of I mean most of the players farm around more than 15k or 20k. Some people actually go for 50k, which is a lot and it consumes a lot of time, but it's worth it because obviously we not have to like like farm SP in the in the future. So. The reason why I went for 8k is because I wanted to, like I, okay so what I want for this character is pretty simple, I, I want to to have a character which I can farm with and for me this x would, would be perfect, 
if I had proper items, obviously, because currently I'm using some really fucking shit stuff and I am really struggling to make my way out of this because due to the lack of player base, you can't really buy a lot of stuff. I mean, you, you either buy something overpriced or you don't buy anything. So, this is what I'm, I've been dealing with and this is where I just realized that it's really fucking hard to start from scratch because a lot of players say like oh we have to to farm at level 130 but the thing is how the fuck do you reach that level and get proper items when you don't have anything like it's not possible obviously it could be it could have been possible if uh, gamigo doesn't change uh their uh their prices for selling items because they lowered all of the prices for example if i kill the zombie and he drops me something which this one probably won't because that's my luck yeah it didn't so if it drops an armor i believe you used to sell them for around 100k or 150 or even 200k i'm not sure but now they cost around uh, 55k and they are level 72 uh, armors so they are high level armors and, and you you get a really small amount of money and the thing is a crossbow which I need is called Eribus crossbow uh, that costs I mean on plus 10 because you can't buy it on plus 9 uh, plus 0 because why would you buy it obviously nobody sells that on plus uh, 0 so on plus 10 it costs around roughly around like 200 million of uh, worth of gold and to to farm that amount of money you actually have to play a lot like a lot of lot because I like currently I farm in TOF around uh, <coughs> like I used to say 5 to 8 million gold per hour but that's not true because I, I farm around 3 and 5 million of uh, gold in TOF. I think I said dollar, but I meant gold, so. So, yeah. Be brief with me. So, basically, I get around maximum 5 million per hour, which, if I form 10 hours a day without stopping, it would take me 4 days to get a crossbow. 4 days with farming 10 hours a day. It's a fucking joke and I'm not saying that I want to reach everything in uh, under like two or three days but what I'm saying is like back in the days you went to map one you checked the, the shops you you bought this for over price you sold it for a more higher price like you could do this you could make money you could learn the economy of the server you could do a lot of stuff right but now you cannot do any of those stuffs any of those stuff I meant to say so yeah but I mean I feel like it's still worth to start this server if you are passionate about what you're doing and if you actually if, if you have time obviously because this game consumes a lot of time unless you spend like a hundred euro on it so yeah as you can see I have a outfit and a crossbow which I bought for coins but I I want to tell you guys that I am not a donator type of person. Like I only bought coins to be able to buy this outfit. Because I really wanted, like when I was a kid, when I started this game, I really wanted to get an outfit for my character because I thought it looked so professional. You, you look like you know what you're doing and stuff like that. And so, as I said, I was 11 at the time, so I couldn't really afford any of those stuff because obviously I had no job. So... Yeah, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. Even though there is, like, nobody to see it, I'm just gonna go for it. Like, why not? It cost me, like, 7 euro to buy 3,200 coins, which which is actually sounds a lot, but trust me, it isn't. So, so yeah, for, for me, I feel like they changed the item a lot. And what I mean is, like, they, they overpriced everything. And I think it's a really good, like, not a good marketing, but it's a really good profit uh, for them. 
from the the German server obviously because they can spend like 200 euro per month without any problem or living less or living worse if it makes any sense but for for me as a Hungarian it it's a lot of money and I think like not a lot of people want to spend that amount of money on like a game so so yeah, so I, I I went for this outfit. I also have some coins left. I might buy some XP boosters in the future. But what I want to achieve with this character is pretty simple. I want to to level it to 75. So I actually need a uh, 73 percent more to uh, to reach that level. And then I might lock my uh, EXP, and then I will try to form like some proper Erebus armors, and I will try to form the Erebus crossbow. Which I said cost 200 million and plus them, and then hopefully I can I can make this character as as like a former type type of character, so I can create a new one which will be a mage because it has a uh, 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 AOE skills and it's also really overpowered, and then uh, yeah, so I I'm gonna form this character and I'm gonna use that character for for like as a main character. Why am I killing these fucking witches? So, so if, uh, I would like to give you a bit of farming advice. So, as you can see, I'm in TOF, uh, Temple of Forgetfulness. A lot of players suggested me this this place to farm at uh, because they said, "Oh, you can make 80 million per hour if you have look, uh, lucky scrolls. You can make a shit ton of items. You can farm your own stuff." But None of those stuffs are uh, uh, relevant to the normal state of the game because um, basically, as I said, they lower the prices. You cannot really sell the items on their normal prices. So you either sell them for 50k or you just don't farm here. But for me, like there is no other uh, places to farm it because I currently have this shitty gear, which I have uh, put some uh, jewels on them. I mean, only in the the chest plate and the leggings, and also I have a jewel in my crossbow. But uh, so basically, that's all I have. And the thing is, I cannot buy better stuff because they cost like 200 million uh, gold, and I have only 23 million gold, and it costs me four days to farm this amount of gold. So, it's really hard to start, but if you have passion about what you're doing, if you actually spend time on it, and let's say if you can buy a bit of coins and you can buy a bit of stuff, then I think it's a really good uh, way to, to waste your time. So, yeah. Also, in TOF, you have this uh, polluted air uh, poison, which, like, it has a specific time, which is a specified time. Which is 10 minutes. If it hits you, I have at 4 minutes now. If it goes to, to 0 seconds, then you will die immediately. And I think you cannot cure it. Like, I usually try to use these items, but it, it never goes away, so I'm pretty sure you cannot cure it. So, the way you can stop it is by going uh, back to the first room. I mean, not the first room, like the previous room that I was in. And you just uh, basically. Uh, go down the stairs and then come up and it will reset to 10 minutes uh, We have to do that soon It also like there is this big boss which I make like 350 damage on it. I'm pretty fucking weak. I cannot kill bosses unfortunately unless I have ignition and uh, They can drop you Erebus armors or high level armors Same as these uh, mobs, but they can only drop you like normal uh, armors, like level 76, uh, 75, and that's it. I mean, the Erebus armor is level 75 as well, but uh, like they are very like overpowered. You can use them until you reach level 140 without in need of changing the armor. So yeah, they are really good. I I actually want to 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 go f uh, to to get them. I already have like a half done set uh, containing level 76 and 75 armors 
which I cannot use because they are red colored and what that means as far as I know is that you have to to be on that level or above that level and I'm 74 at the moment so I need two more levels to actually wear that uh, chest plate which is on plus 8 at the moment so so basically that's it so this is how I spend my time on this server I I try to, to farm in, uh, I mean, I try to level in Tomb and uh, Igiha. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but the thing is, like, since I make low amount of damage and I don't have a lot of armor, I mean, I have 1,400 uh, worth of uh, defense, I, I can't really make it out alive, so I, I die a lot. And I don't want to die a lot, so I just basically... What I'm planning to do is, I try to form, uh, I mean, I try to level up to 75 in TOF. And then I might uh, try to get myself a proper crossbow by asking some other rooks that are on the raid channel. Because, like, we have six channels, I believe, or maybe seven. And a lot of, like, a lot of higher level players are on the raid channel because obviously you can do raids with your guild and stuff like that, so... That's where the most uh, players are. Oh, I don't have any space left. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna... Uh, what should I throw away? I don't need this, this key. So, yeah, I might have some higher level rooks. Maybe if they have one for a bit of, like, a lower, uh, a, a lower price. So I can actually get myself a decent weapon and start farming eventually. Like start farming the bosses, get some Miribus armor, get some Heaven Stones and then just basically upgrade everything that I can. And then create my secondary character which will be me will be my main character. Which I'm not so sure if I if I said it because like this is my second attempt of of uh, creating this video. Because I created one, I mean, I recorded one before this, and I forgot to record my sound, so it was basically a waste of material and time. But yeah, I'm going to make a mage as a main character, and I'm gonna leave this for farming purposes. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make some more. I probably will. It's basically... I'm... Like, I have a lot of time currently, so I will make some, some more. So, yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for watching.